After the crossing, we landed in Tortola, the British Virgin Islands, and we immediately treated ourselves to a pina colada, which was muchly deserved. And then we got a few jobs done. Um, Riley and I had to scrape the hull. There was a lot going on down there. It was weighing us down quite a bit. All right, show us your marvelous creation. What have you come up with here for scraping the hull? In through the mouth, out through the nose. Very simple. I think, I hope it works. Will it I work? Get carbon dioxide poison. And then Riley had to go up the mast and install a new wind speed indicator because the spinnaker halley had actually snap, snapped that off. So we had to do that. And, um, and then we had some people ride in from Utah and Texas and they wanted to come sailing with us in the BVIs. So we island hopped with them. Um, they were really lovely people and we had a really good time. And then Riley and I did some more exploring before heading over to St. Martin. <laughs> I just got the best yawn on camera. <laughs> so what happened with this boat? Well, this guy here with a kennel hanging off the side of his boat uh, just came over and asked us to help help him out a bit. We, um, as the wind changed direction last night, we swung around and fouled his anchor a little bit. Then uh, this morning, he went to tighten up on it with his uh, windlass and when he started the engine he caught his the painter for his mate's dinghy the rope that ties to the boat so now he's got that caught in his uh, prop as well so he just came over and asked us for a little bit of help so that'll be our job for this afternoon when the sun goes is that its peak higher. yeah it's warm enough they have a cute little red healer which i want Okay, I kid you not, but they were just very setting um, our mate's anchor and the dog house just floated into the mangroves and disappeared, so... Alright, uh, I was going after these snapper. Oh, there was a huge groper, but then there was a little school of snapper and I went after them and one of them hit behind a rock. I went down and there was Big Bertha. Big Bertha. Trying to hide from me under a little ledge there. Good job. Oh, it's recording. <laughs> <laughs> we got a lobster. <laughs> <laughs> Why has he got like mop heads hanging from his rigging? I've seen that before, the mop heads. I don't know what its purpose is. We are in, where are we? Soppers Hole. Soppers Hole in Tortola, on the island of Tortola. And it's uh, quite a nice little anchorage. If anyone knows why they put mop heads on the halyards. Is it to stop the rats? Well, I don't know, unless rats fall from the sky, I don't see how that's going to stop. No, no, they like climbing in mass. There's a shipwreck over here called Vagabond. So, Riley's just jumped in the water and tied us off to the wreck. There was meant to be a mooring buoy, but there wasn't. Um, what do you think? Are you excited? Oh, I saw a little bit of it. It's quite big. There's not great amounts of fish around, but yeah, I'm pretty excited. I really lost it when we were coming in and I saw it on the map. When we were coming in from... Um, Vagabond. Where did we come from? Ah, uh, Cape Verde. But um, we're not too sure if it's good luck or bad luck to be doing this just yet, but I guess we'll see. Thank you. 
though, and it's very loud. Here goes. Get the camera on my head first. Oh. <laughs> the cup's not big enough. Don't be ridiculous. No, I'll just balance it. Alright, so no, uh not taking part in this. That camera's gonna fall it's off. It's not gonna fall! It is, it's our one and only camera. It's fine, alright. The baby eyes were really good. I thought that because we were so close to America and they were like a well-known place that they might be a bit touristy, which they were, but there's so many awesome spots there in such a close little distance from each other that it's just really easy and mm. awesome little spot. There's uh, dive spots and fish there, which I didn't think that there would be, but there's still heaps of fish around. Fair few national parks and that in there, kept, like keeping everything alive. And uh, that's what I thought. What did you think? I thought it was awesome. There was so many cool places to see, and I think my favourite part was the people for sure. The people were really happy and friendly, and um, I and I loved how they sing everywhere they go. There was a man in the park who was just singing at the top of his lungs. And uh, in the supermarkets and restaurants, they're all just singing away, and uh, I love that. I think it's really cool. You mate in the park. Yeah, but it's a little bit expensive. The BBI's is a bit expensive, but I think it's really, really worth it. We absolutely loved it. I literally just woke up 
as you can tell by my face. Um, we've got a fish! Welcome to Saint Martin!